Good day to you one and all. It is I, Hawkins, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. It's a really sad day today because uh, Monty Norman has passed away and he was the composer of the James Bond theme. Um, he was 94 years old, so that's a pretty good innings, obviously, but um, I wanted to dedicate today's episode to him on account of the fact that I think that particular piece of music is so iconic. In fact, it was actually the, the first thing I tried to learn on the electronic guitar. Um, so, yes, today is a Rest in Peace Monty Norman episode. Justin Hawkins writes again Again I mean, even if you hear that, that is now synonymous with Bond, thanks to Monty Norman. It's actually just like an E minor, or an any minor chord, actually, and then the, the fifth rises by an increment of one semitone, and then back down again. It's ingenious, because it's so simple. And you hear it pop up in a lot of the Bond themes, later on don't you sort of I'll, I'll show you one actually I'll show you my favourite one he always runs while others walk he acts while other men just talk he looks at this world and wants it all there it is so he strikes like thunderbolt. He knows the meaning of success. His needs are more, so he gives less. They call him. The winner who takes home. There it is again. And he strikes like thunder. Thunderball by John Barry, but with the motif of Monty Norman. You just can't have a Bond theme. Not a good one, anyway, without that. You just can't. Anyway, so, um, Monty Norman was born Monty Nozerovich in London back in 1928. Um, and while serving in the RAF as a young man, he decided to pursue a career as a singer. Um, and during the 50s and 60s, he sang for a variety of big bands and did work for television shows. Um, Norman was hired by producer Albert Cubby Broccoli to compose a theme for the first James Bond film, Dr. No, released in 1962. Um, producers hired composer John Barry to rearrange the theme, and Barry was widely assumed to have written it. That's actually what I always thought as well. Um, to Norman's chagrin. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but that's the word. Um, Barry, who died in 2011 went on to compose scores for almost a dozen Bond, themes in, uh, Bond films, rather, including Goldfinger. Goldfinger! Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, it's awesome! A Midas touch! I'm sorry, that's going a bit partridge. Um, and also, You Only Live Twice. You only live twice. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know that one so well. Anyway, Norman went, on, uh, went to court to assert his authorship, um, suing the Sunday Times newspaper for libel over a 1997 article asserting that the theme was composed by Barry. Um, he won in 2001 and was awarded £30,000. <laughs> I mean, why did it take four years to establish that? It's crazy, isn't it? Let me show you how to play that guitar part. The really iconic one. <laughs> I think that's what attracted me to it. You can do it all on one string, and half the time when you live in a household with, you know, guitars that are just hanging around, they're not always going to have all the strings on them. So you're not going to be able to do stuff like this. 
but you want to be able to play something that's super iconic, totally recognisable, straight out of the bag. So when I started, this was the thing. And you can do it all on one string. It's amazing, isn't it? So this is something that I observed in probably my first ever episode when I was talking about Adele. Um, there was an Adele song, uh, which was a, a really good Bond theme, actually, with the, from Skyfall. And that was... Uh, it chose these three chords. Um, and again, those three chords have become synonymous with James Bond because I think there's also... <laughs> the Chris Cornell one was like that. And I think even the Jack White and Alicia Keys one had had that as a recurring chord sequence within it. And I know why these three chords were chosen. Because within them, the elements of these chords, you're, you would be able to pick out the motif that Monty Norman wrote, which would be... that rising semitone thing. So if you listen to the first chord, B, the fifth of it is this. The second chord, G, the root is the next uh, rising increment. And then if you play an E, the third. See what I mean? Now, even in the Bond themes where they don't actually go as so far as to actually have the strings playing that, there's always an echo of it in the song because within the harmonic information of the chord sequence, it's all there. And it was created by Monty Norman, who indeed changed film scores, I suppose. Well, ch changed everything, really. Changed my life. One of my other favourite uh, Bond themes is the is the Carly Simon one from um, The Spy Who Loved Me. I think it might be one of the only ones from that sort of 60s and 70s period which didn't have like a, a nod to the motif. But it, it does sort of occur in there somewhere. There's a bit where it goes... No. Nobody does it better Makes me feel sad for the rest Nobody does it Half as good as you Baby, you're the best I wasn't looking but somehow you found me I tried to hide from your love light There's a bit there Ooh, I heaven above me The spy who loved me Is keeping all my secrets safe tonight And nobody does Better. That sometimes I wish someone could. Nobody does it quite the way you do. Why'd you have to be so good? I think that was the uh, that was the nine that was 1977. Cause I remember Bond, Bond 77, and it was the Monty Norman song, you know. But it was sort of arranged in a disco way because it was 1977. So, and then after a while, you did get this sort of really heavily treated. 
Mm. Yeah, so that was that was produced by Marvin Hamlish, another world genius. Oh dear. Anyway, it's great stuff. Um, I think I'm going to have to do more Bond inspired uh, episodes if you guys would uh, tolerate that um it's a it's a really sad day as i said before so here's to you monty norman rest in peace congratulations on a brilliant and iconic uh, contribution to cinema and music itself and uh, yeah see you on the other side cheers friend justin hawkins rides again again Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, watch one of these two videos and uh, listen to all the Bond themes because they're brilliant and, and all have the, uh, the echo of Monty Norman. Nice one. See you later.